Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Autastic Comedians Guide to Autism. I'm one of your hosts, Kirk Smith. I'm Graham K, the other host. Yes, in studio again. Yes. We're turning over, this is three in a row, three in a row in studio. Three in a row, three in a row in the studio, being very productive, you know, making a lot of time, making a lot of uh, good choices with our time here. Uh, I'm only in town for a little bit, and, you know, getting three done is pretty good. Not terrible. Not terrible. Um, We are again going to, we have another, this is three episodes in a row uh, with an interview this is a, uh, a longer one. It's going to take up the majority of the episode. We have a lot, don't have a lot of time for our usual week in reviews, but that's okay because the, these uh, this this next coming interview is awesome. Um, but let's just set it up. I'm this is the uh, this is autastic. This is the comedian's guide to right. autism. Um, we are two comedians, and we both have loved ones who have autism. Kirk's son is That's 18 true. and severely autistic, and my little brother is pretty autistic himself. In fact, he reminds me a lot of one of the people that gets interviewed uh, in the upcoming interview. See if you can catch it, uh, folks. <laughs> Longtime listeners, fans of Pete, you will know what I'm talking about. Yeah, this was uh, at the Disability Rights Legal Center's annual gala, uh, the opportunity to, to interview a Ernie, the CEO of this company, Exceptional Minds, that to be honest, I've heard about for a few years. I've been trying to track him down. I've had a scheduling conflicts, but um, this is it. We got him. And uh, without further ado, let's, uh, let's roll it. Let's roll the tape. Let's roll the tape. I am this week at the Disability Rights Center event right down here at Fox Studios, downtown Los Angeles. Not really downtown. At the uh, studios here. And I'm really excited. You know, we've talked about interviewing this gentleman for some time now. Uh, I'm very excited to have uh, Ernie Merlin. Hello, it's great to be here. Thanks so much for agreeing to do us. Now, oh, I'm uh, so thrilled to be here. It's awesome. We've, we've been talking about having you on for some time just because we're so excited about what you're doing. I'd rather you spe- uh, spell it out there versus I destroy it and totally bumble it. What exactly does your organization do, Ernie? Uh, we are Exceptional Minds. It's a school for talented young adults with autism. We teach them visual effects and animation and actually give them the people skills necessary to get work in the entertainment industry. That's amazing. And you're based where exactly? We're based in Sherman Oaks, which is okay. kind of in the heart of what is Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Right over the hill. Right over the hill. It's great. Right over the hill, near Burbank, near uh, Studio City, near Hollywood. Right in the heart of the action. That's right. Now, how did this happen? What drew you into this, uh, wow, this very you know, exciting field? My, my story is a little more drawn out than that. I was okay. an Imagineer. I worked for Disney for 12 years building amusement parks. Awesome. And then I started my own company doing visual effects and animation for Disney, Universal, and many of the amusement parks. When one day these amazing ladies showed up, these uh, ladies that had kids with autism or were related in some way to kids with autism, right. some of them were in the movie industry, and they came to me asking how I can help them start a program to help these talented young adults work and actually get jobs in the movie industry. Yeah. And so basically they wanted me to help them start a school. Well, I didn't know anything about schools (laughs) and I didn't know anything about autism. So naturally I said, sure, let's try this. (laughs) What Um, could possibly go wrong? What could go wrong? (laughs) Um, We started out by me helping out for about 10 hours a week and that turned into 20, 30, 40, 50. Pretty soon I shut down my studio and I dedicated all my time to helping to build Exceptional Minds. And so, how long has Exceptional Minds been open? Well, we're in our seventh year. Okay, amazing. And uh, we've gone through about 32 uh, graduates that have gone through the program. We have about 34 right now that are in the program. Oh, wow. Um, And we have another 50 that come in part-time, another 140 that come in during the summertime. Oh, wow. So, we've grown really fast, but the key to it is... Uh, teaching them to do something that the entertainment industry needs. And values and pays. That's right. So we, we've looked for things like rotoscoping is something that is typically sent overseas okay. to India, Malaysia. And uh, we were we went to the studios and we said, what do you have that we can hold on to here? Right. That uh, if you're sending 40 shots out, how can we keep four of them? And we started by doing that. So about three years ago, we started actually doing visual effects work for the studios, starting with things like American Hustle and some of the Marvel movies. And um, 
we've kept that business going, and, and it's most of it's repeat business now with all the, the big studios. So this is a sil- simple question, but I just want to be one hundred percent clear. This is a for profit business. You're trying to employ these young people, right? This isn't like a situation where you're just keeping them busy. This is actually you're producing something, and the studio pays you. Right. So we are a nonprofit. Right. But the, providing the, the whole mission is for these graduates to get paid. Amazing. So even the ones. So we have. Right now, seven uh, graduates that are employed on the outside, including one at Marvel and one at Cartoon Network. Okay. Um, but then we have another 15 that are working inside our visual effects studio and another five that are working in our, in our brand new animation studio. And they are actually getting paid. This is all about that's work. Yeah. And getting their names in the credits because that's really what it's all about <laughs> in Hollywood. Yeah. It's all about getting credit. No, I'm joking. That's hilarious. <laughs> that's amazing. So... Uh, how does it work? You have uh, people that come to you all the time. They have, there's an application process. People reach out to you. So, yeah, people have to apply to the program. We okay. have about three applicants for every spot. So it, it is a very competitive. It's like Harvard over here. It's a it's little Harvard hard to get into. Harvard for the animation um, thing and in we're Sherman Oaks. For, yeah, we're looking for people who are really driven, who this is their passion. This is what they're good at. Uh, they happen to have autism, and I believe that that makes them uniquely qualified to, the, you know, they might be obsessive with detail. Okay. That's something that we, right. we need. Um, they're terrible liars. You know, so, <laughs> so I think that's something that's really good for, for being an employee. Right. Um, but the fact is we prepare them, and everyone comes in different. When you met someone with autism, you met exactly one person with yeah, autism. Yeah, that's what we always say. You met one person with autism, you met one person with that's autism. Right. That's so right. So they're all super different. So in the first year, um, we expose them to things like Animate and Photoshop and, and uh, Premiere and After Effects. Mm-hmm. Uh, we start to figure out what they're good at. So some of them are going to lean more towards animation okay. and be really good at it. Quite honestly, all of them come in saying, I want to be an animator okay. because that's what they've grown up with all right. their lives. But we assess who, who really is naturally good at that. And then we look at, well, where else can their skills be used? So we've graduated folks that um, are focused on visual effects. We've graduated some that are focused on editing. And now that we started our new animation studio, we have... Folks working on animation. Tell, tell them about your animation studio. How's that going to work? Oh, it's great. So we've got, um, again, right now we have about five that have graduated in okay. animation. We have another five that are coming in right behind them. Uh, we started out by doing a big job for the L.A. Zoo. So ah. they're having their 50th anniversary, and okay. we did their animated logo, which you can check out on our website. That's awesome. Uh, www.exceptionalmindstudio.org. Um, And then we've now begun to do other projects, like for B.J. Liederman, who is a, um, he's the guy that writes all the music for NPR or for a lot of the programs on NPR. Uh, We've begun to do a tutorial on teaching kids how to brush their teeth. It's actually an app, and they get to, the app sees how they're brushing their teeth, and they get points for doing it right. Uh, What's the app called? The app is is called Toothstar, okay. but that's the working name, so I'm not sure what it's going to come out as. Okay, so it's um, not out yet. Okay, not out just okay. yet. Got it. Um, we've got uh, we do Christmas cards for folks, so custom okay. Christmas cards, uh, animated Christmas cards that we put out, and um, we just work on whatever projects can come along. But we're brand new; we're about six months old. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. So, uh, what's the uh, T- talk to me about some of your star pupils, some of your, your uh, the people that, uh, not that all the students aren't special, but the people that really seem to take what the opportunity they're given and really hit well, the nail you know, on the head. I, I think star comes down to what you're looking for, okay. you know, because some of them are stars for simply having gotten through our program, right, and, 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 and kind of dealt with some of the issues they were trying to, hurdles they were trying to get right. over. Um, and some... Uh, have accomplished great things, um, maybe in some cases, maybe because they were a little high, higher functioning and they were right. able to accomplish them. So, so there's different levels of it. Honestly, my son would not. Uh, yeah, if we could get my son and, uh, and my longtime listeners know this, and I'm not making fun of my son at all, but if we could get my son to do the janitorial services at your facility, that would be a huge win for us because we're you know the spectrum is very wide. And so my son's on the severe That's end. That's right. So yeah, you're exactly right. But talk to me about some of your success yeah, stories. Yeah. So we've got. Um, We've got, let's see, Chris that's over at uh, Marvel is uh, been there for almost three years now and is doing really great work over there. They're, they're, uh, they're loving him there. We've got um, Matthew Delorme that just uh, got hired at Cartoon Network. Oh, it's amazing. That's really exciting stuff. Um, we've got Alexander Knight that's at a place called New Edit, and they say that he is not only 
uh, changed the, he's changed the culture of the whole place there. I mean, he comes in and he knows all the latest sports scores. He knows everything that's going on over there and they love him there, right? And then you've got uh, Patrick Brady, who's just doing uh, great at a, at a place called Barnstorm. And they've adopted him in there and they just, they want to help us help him. And so they've kind of altered and created a, a custom program for him. What an incredibly encouraging thing for both of the students and for the families. Yeah, That's to right. be able to really find their niche and really excel and uh, contribute. That's one of my goals for my son, for him to be a taxpaying contributor to society yeah, in whatever well, capacity. you know, this last young man that I mentioned, Patrick, when I first met him, he wouldn't look at me in the eye. He wouldn't shake my hand. But he could draw. Wow. He, he had created this animated series called uh, Superheroes Couples Therapy. <laughs> so imagine Boy Wonder uh, asking Batman, wait, why do we have to wear our underwear on the outside of our pants? And he had created this whole series about that. And so imagine seeing all your favorite superheroes in couples therapy. <laughs> Um, what a great but, idea. But he, you know, he's worked really hard to, to be able to do what he's doing. I think he's on to some insight there. I think uh, a lot of the superheroes have a lot of issues. I think you're 100% yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> Batman could use some therapy uh, daily, probably. Daily. Well, and it's something, uh, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, that these guys know all too well Yeah, is therapy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Right? What you know. I that's didn't right. even think of that. That's, that's right. right. Yeah, right about what you know. There you go. Uh, well, why don't you, um, I was giving you the look here to introduce, uh, we have another special guest here, uh, one of your... Uh... Yeah, so I, if, if I could just say, when we graduate from the program, these guys then go to work either in our studio or on the outside, and we have right here Andrew Turney, who is currently in our animation track, and oh, getting ready great. to come into the animation studio once he graduates. Hello, I'm Andrew Turney here. Um, I'm one of the third year students of um, Exceptional Minds. I do the... Um, I'm great with um, doing cleanup animation, and I am one day thinking of um, finding um, finding some place to do some animation outside the studio, whether it's um, s um, major studio or um, independent. That's great. What just describe to us for those of us who don't know what cleanup animation is like? A little bit. What your job's like? What do you do exactly? What does that mean? Cleanup animation mm -hmm. um, is one of the um, fine is the final part of doing um, is doing this is the final stage of um, animating. Um, where you could um, um, f finally do the final bits of the lining for the characters and okay. and color. Okay. So, I uh, apologize. I know so little about animation, but the picture's drawn, and then you're doing like fine tuning the facial features, or what? What exactly? Well, um, it's um, it's um, clean up on the movements. The movements. Okay. Okay. And then that's in s software, or I apologize. I know so little about this, Andrew. Well, it's well. I'm mostly great at doing it in um, in um, Adobe Animate. Okay. Although I still, although I still like to learn how to do um, um, Toon Boom, even though um, EM doesn't have that um, type of equipment to do Toon Boom, which would require a PC and Cintiqs. What would be like your dream uh, job, or like what would you, if you could have any, like ten years from now, you get really good at whatever software you like and you'd like to work on The Simpsons or like what, what exactly do you have in mind? Well, I do like to work on For The Simpsons or Family Guy and, or sometimes I like to do um, 2D animated feature films. Oh, that'd be cool. I mean, seriously, um, th people need to start making more 2D animated feature films. They're getting rare. What is 2D animation? Is that like Toy Story or does that mean something else? No, Something okay. else. I mean, I mean, like for example, um, let me recall, like Beauty and the Beast. Okay. Wait, what was Toy Story then? That's not a 2D... 3D animated. It was 3D animated. Okay. Well, I'm currently learning 3D animation in Maya. Give me another example of 2D. I'm sorry, I don't know anything about um, this. Well, <laughs> another example for 2D animation, like Aladdin. Okay. And what else? And also Fantasia. All the older ones. And, okay. And even some, even some of the films by Don Bluth, even though I heard that um, he's still making um, his next um, theatrical f um, 2D animated feature film, Dragon's Lair the Movie which is based on this um, arcade game, Dragon's Lair. Okay. How about, uh, have, you, have you been able to do... And, uh, and um, animation wasn't the only thing my biggest dream would be. I also like to be uh, an actor. That's great. That's great. Do they have, is there anywhere uh, people can see your work, your animation work, or your acting work? Oh, um, at EM, we have guests coming over to, who, um, random guests coming over and just to check out the animation works during the tour. I mean, through my reels. I can even put my reels on YouTube. 
Well, for voiceover acting, um, I have been doing a few um, auditioning um, voice acting on YouTube. That's great. And, and I even have... Um, the, What's your YouTube handle? My YouTube channel is called edward 2 fan 47 Okay, Edward, all two. spelled out? Yeah. 2 fan number 2 or all spelled out? Number 2. Number 2, okay. And F-A-N? Yeah, 47. 47, got it. Okay. Yeah, although it's not popular, this um, YouTube channel. But uh, you trying. never know. You only need one break. You only need one break. Come on, Andrew, one break. You can do it. Well, I'm, well I mean, I, I mean well, although in this channel it's just some, some videos of uh, just a couple of dubs and um, fan series um, parodies I do. That's great. Well, like, for example, this. Um, hey, good afternoon. May I interest in you some coffee? That's great. That's great. Or also, um, there's also this. Hello, Moe's Tavern. Hi, I'm looking for a Miss Wiz here. First name, Tekka. Hold on. <laughs> hey, I'm looking for a Miss Tekka Wiz here. Everybody put down your mugs. I want a Tekka Wiz here. <laughs> well, why would you want to do it in front of us? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, hey, wait a minute. When I find out who you are, I'm going to hunt you down, rip your heart out, and then crush it with a steamroller. That's a very good mo. I made that. I gotta up. say, that's a very good mo. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind if I would take over Hank Azari's role if um, Hank Azari <laughs> decided to retire. I I think that's a great goal. I think if uh, if you get that, if somebody rings your uh, yeah, if somebody calls you to give you that, take it. Well, I well mo isn't the only character I'm great at doing. I mean, I also um, do um, this um, worst city ever. That's pretty good, too. The and, comic book guy. That's pretty good. Yeah. And who else besides him? Uh, oh, and also, welcome to the Quickie Mart. May I interest you in the donut? We, we bake it fresh from the oven and then leave it out here for two years. <laughs> we they might cut the Indian again. one. I'm not sure, but <laughs> <laughs> we're definitely keeping the other two. That was terrific. Thank we're, uh, we're I running know you out are, but what am I? The <laughs> we're running out of time. Anything else you want to say to our listeners? Um, that's all I've got. Okay. Anyway, thank you for having me. Andrew, thank you so much. Very interesting young man. And uh, uh, Ernie, you want to you wanna tell our listeners anything you sounding? Listen, uh, I, I just really appreciate your taking our story on and telling the world about us. And I'd like to invite your listeners and you to come out and visit Exceptional Minds. I'd love to. I'd love to come out there. Guys, uh, one more time, Exceptional Minds, give us the website one more time where they can find you guys. The website is www.exceptionalmindsstudio.com. Okay. Dot .org. Twitter, Instagram, we do anything like that? How do they we reach out to you? We have both guys? Twitter, Instagram, what Facebook. Are the, what are the handles? Um, you know what? I <laughs> X Minds. X Minds. So the letter X no, mind. E-X. Oh, EX. His brains are so, sitting next to him. The PR so, lady sitting so, right next to him is speaking so in his go ear. to our website <laughs> and find it, but EX Minds is is our EX title, Minds. our handle. Guys, this is a this is a, a very interesting episode. Really excited about all the the interesting people that are taking action and doing something so positive. Uh, take a second to follow them and reach out to them, and uh, you can do it, guys. Well, Graham, that was it. That, that cl- hit a little close to home there at the end. Yes, and it's amazing how quickly you put that tape in the recorder and rolled the tape. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have a tape. No. I tipped, um, I tipped my hand to my age there for a second. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I thought that interview was awesome. I mean, I love this. I mean, the, the Moe's Tavern. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's... He, the kid is a lot like my brother. He just is. You can just sort of tell cognitively they're very similar. And it also gives me hope that maybe my brother, we always talk about your son, you know, you know, hope goals that one, son, goals yeah. one day he, mm-hmm. could, he, he, he can, you know, get a job being maybe a custodian or something like yeah. that. And that's what my brother does right now. He's a custodian. And, and then hearing as someone who sounds a lot like my brother, I mean, you know, you can tell a lot from that interview and that he's actually working as an animator. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I thought it was very cool. You know, it makes me feel like maybe Peter could do something, maybe not it being an animation, but something else. I know? think the key is for not just for uh, people on the spectrum, but for all of us, is trying to find something where your interests align with your skills. Absolutely, just like us, just like people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do now, and I'm in my forties. Wow, <laughs> well, you! I'm Same doing thing. it. You're doing it. Same thing. Still trying to find something. Really? A little you bit. Quick comedy. 
No, 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 no. I'm talking about comedy, but you're trying to find that one project that aligns perfectly with your skills that sends you to the next level. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I lost Graham's interest. No, oh, okay. Um, All right, whatever. No, if that's how you feel. You're being real down. These guys being real. Kirk's being a real Debbie Downer on himself over there. Um, no, no, no. I'm just saying you're trying to find that one project that really accentuates what you bring to the table. Mm, like Seinfeld 2. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We've lost our minds. Uh, that's another episode. We did it, guys. This Hope you a, enjoyed it. Uh, Thank well, you for our guests for coming on. You're both fantastic and an inspiration. Um, I'm at Graham K., Okay, that's my name with OK on the end on Twitter and the Gram Instagram and Patreon.com um, slash Autastic if you'd like to donate for as little as a dollar per episode. And I'm not going to forget about you, Kirk. Kirk Smith Comedy that's at it. Kirk Smith Comedy on the Gram as well. And you're also on, can you believe it? Twitter. Holy cow, the guy's got a Twitter account. Snapchat. And Instagram. He is famous people. Periscope. Um, (laughs) He's the only man who still has a Vine account. (laughs) Kirk. And a MySpace account. Mm -hmm. Uh, Guys, I'll be in New York too, November 1st through the 7th for, uh, I'm doing a... An autism event out there November 3rd, if you want to come out to that. Or uh, you can catch me at clubs, too, if you're in the East Coast uh, that week. That week? Yes. I am always, I'm pretty much always on the East Coast. I'm always in New York City. If you come on vacation or live in the area and are going to be in New York, go to comedybythegram.com. That's comedybythemynamegram.com. And I got all my, my schedule in there. He's killing it. He's killing it. If you guys could just see his hair today. All right, guys, that's it. it. It's looking good. Looking good. Looking good. (laughs) Guys, you can do it. We love you.